Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn Web Coding. My name is Durgesh Sahani and I'm here with a new series of video tutorials where we are going to see how to execute PHP and MySQL and command line. Then we will see how to how to create database backup and uh, how to restore it on the MySQL using command line. Then we will create a database backup script in PHP and finally we will set up a cron job to execute on particular time. So for that we are going to use task scheduler. So task scheduler, uh, in task scheduler you can uh, add your PHP file uh, that will get executed on particular time. So this is what the cron job is. Cron job means what? In background it will get, uh, it will run on particular event. So whatever time you will set, according to that it will get executed every time. Okay. So we will see everything. So first uh, let's start with the command line execution of PHP. Before that, I'll show you, I have installed this uh, XAM, which is a bundle of softwares, uh, which already have installed PHP, MySQL, Apache and everything for me. Uh, if you're using command line PHP, then uh, Apache server is not required. If you stop it, then also you're going to execute command line PHP successfully. Okay. And MySQL will see uh, later. So suppose this is the file index.php which is on uh, my command line folder and uh, this is under d drive and i'm writing here echo hello from command line or okay you can write anything just we want to debug whether it is working or not okay now uh First thing is you have to where you have installed the PHP that you have to locate. So for me it is uh, installed under C then XAMPP and uh, you can see here PHP folder and you will find php.exe file over here. So this is the executable file of PHP and it will execute your PHP script. So you need this location okay and open the command prompt and here you have to paste this URL then write php.exe file and then your file which you want to execute so that file is on d drive uh, tutorials then command line and the file name is index.php if you hit enter you are saying this hello from command line php you are getting the, this file is get uh, executed and see we are not running apache or any web server okay now see we are not going to write every time this uh, path even if you remove this dot exe then also it's, it's going to execute your file okay now we are not going to write every time this path right so what you can do it you have to you can add involvement variable uh, so that every time you just type php and uh, php and then file name it will get executed so let's see how we can add uh, this so go to the your computer uh, this PC properties I'm on Windows 10 so I'm selecting this PC then advanced system setting and here you will see environment variables click on that and then see uh, use variable <coughs> user variable for uh, this user and here you'll find this path click on uh, edit and then you can add a new entry and paste your path that's it okay so I already have pasted that's why I'm just going to remove it so you have here you have to paste the path of your PHP file and then click OK 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 and if you run this the same thing but if you remove this uh, URL and click enter then also it's going to run your PHP file okay now if you want to pass some argument uh, over here then how you'll pass so suppose i'm passing here 10 and i want to accept this 10 in our php script then how we can do that for that i'm going to show you uh, print r and just print server information dollar underscore server okay save this file and run this file again here it is printing all the information along with there is one uh, two more arguments uh, you can see here argv and argc argc is number of uh, items here you have 
and uh, here is we have the arguments uh, argument count and argument values so these are the values so first is the path of the file and the second one is whatever the parameter you have sent if you send here 10 and 20 you will see now you have this argument count 3 and these values so if you want to accept this 10 if you want to print this 10 then what you have to do is argv and the first element right now if you run this program you will see you are getting this 10 over here right even you can pass it in, into variables and uh, you can do some logic to get the values a is equal to this now you can see php a is equal to 10 you are getting right so i hope you understand how to execute uh, php on command line so thank you very much guys for watching hope you understand the uh, how, how we have uh, added the path uh, in environment variable and how we are executing this php script on command line now in the next session i'll show you how to execute mysql and command line okay so thanks again for watching